All right, everyone, Joe Biden is getting attacked again by leftoids, and it's actually for something that's technically legal and sensible, which is the expansion of the Remain in Mexico policy. This is the third time, by the way, that Joe Biden uh, has been yelled at by leftoids on immigration. They want an open border. Like Beto, um, Beto who's <laughs> actually laughably attempting to run in Texas again, he'll lose, by the way, uh, he's, he's got no chance. Um, wanted to eliminate the border wall that was there. Well, I don't think we should be building border walls. I think that we should be tearing down walls. It, 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 trying to do like a Reagan thing and it just doesn't come off well because he's just so fucking cringe. Waving his skateboard around like a Bible. He's gy gyrating around like a televangelist and speaking in tongues. That's Beto. Uh, here's the thing. First, it was when Biden first gets elected, he's like, well, we're not going to build any more of the wall. We're not going to spend any of the billion dollars that are already allocated to expand it electronically. We're ending Remain in Mexico, blah, blah, blah. Now, Remain in Mexico was upheld by the federal court system. SCOTUS doesn't want to weigh in, so that's binding. He had to restore it. They, they attacked him for that first. Then he said, well, the money's already allocated. I think that I will finish the sections of wall that already did get constructed, several hundred miles of this bollard material, uh, because they're supposed to be topped with electronic systems and, and, you know, they haven't been put in place yet. I think I'll finish the Trump wall. Now, of course, he didn't use that ver uh, uh, verbose language. It wasn't, no, no, it's not the Trump wall. It's just the, just the border defenses. That's all. <laughs> the electronic monitors that Trump dreamed up and paid for has nothing to do with Trump, though. Everyone who voted for me, you know, including those of you who can't hear me because you're six feet under or got cremated. Uh, with, with that, he got attacked by the left because they're like, whoa, I thought you were going to tear down walls, Mr. President. And then on Remain in Mexico, now he has to restore, but he had to expand it as well. See, here's the problem. The Remain in Mexico policy is beyond people who happen to be from the continent and they march up through Mexico and they've achieved a safe third country. If anyone anywhere in the world, and there are people from fucking Eastern Europe, from Haiti, from parts of South America, that's nowhere near Mexico, from Africa, etc., they get a ticket, they fly to Mexico, or they fly to Central America, and they join the migrant caravans. You, you had thousands of migrants just from Haiti doing this. This article, link in the description archived, of course, makes it sound as though, well, originally it only uh, applied to Spanish speakers. Well, that's not actually the case. Brazilians speak Portuguese. <laughs> People from Belize and Guyana speak English, I believe. Uh, Haiti speaks French, etc. And those are all in the Americas. So we're not even accounting for the migrants coming from other parts of the world who will do that. They see that the U.S. border is porous and they don't think they'll have to wait in Mexico, they can just disappear into the United States. All they have to do is get one fucking ticket, and then they have to make the dangerous journey. It's way easier for men to do it, because they're less likely to get raped along the way. That's all they have to do, is get a, get a plane ticket or, or a ship or something. Haiti, though, is not physically connected with the continental Americas. But the Remain in Mexico policy still applies, because the Haitians were landing first in Mexico. They're already in a safe third country. The Remain in Mexico policy is nothing more than an iteration of, of the, the rights of migrants under international law and international agreements that the U.S. is party to. It's just a restoration of the way the, which, in which the border is supposed to function. Remain in Mexico is effectively just rehashing international law that Biden doesn't have any problem with. If you are a, an asylum seeker, if you intend to seek refugee status, the problem with going through Mexico into the United States is that you've already escaped that which you are attempting to get away from. The, the fact that you're a refugee, you're afraid of oppression, severest poverty, tyranny, uh, uh, total economic collapse, a disaster. Something like that has destabilized your nation. You could certainly argue that for Haiti. Mexico is not destabilized and is willing to host you, though. And maybe they'll, you'll end up living in Mexico instead of living in Texas or Arizona because maybe you'll get rejected by Uncle Sam, which you should be because it's not actually a legitimate claim, and maybe the Mexicans will let you settle there. <laughs> Good luck. I don't think they'll be willing to, though. I think they'll send you back across to Haiti, which has been destabilized by globaloids like the Clinton Foundation and the Red Cross, which never built the houses that it was allocated billions of dollars to build, but... We'll get past that for now. I find it funny when Joe Biden gets attacked from the left because a lot of these people were nose holders, but there were some. There were some leftoids that actually believed his rhetoric. 
<laughs> I tried to tell them. It's not going to govern the way that you want them to govern. It's never going to happen. Most of the Democratic Party are neoliberal individuals. They are, to, to the socialoid standards, they'd be far right, arguably. They, they seem to think that Joe Manchin is a Nazi, too. This should t show you how far off a goddamn cliff their mentality marched before it finally hit the edge. Um, complete dysfunction, complete lunacy. And Joe Biden has to straddle the line between corruption and lunacy on a day-to-day -day basis. He typically prefers corruption because it pays more. Uh, lunacy typically destroys your economy. Corruption allows you to keep it on life support and just keep draining money out of it. Decreasingly valuable money, but you know you can always manipulate the currency and get some more tangible assets that won't depreciate the same way when the currency inflates. Uh, again, it's funny. He restores the policy because he has to. It's not something that Biden wanted to do. The, the left had cheered him on initially for trying to get rid of Remain in Mexico. They were mad at the court for restoring it. But then he adds a sensible rider to that policy that technically should have been there anyway. But, you know, Trump never did that in the first place because we didn't have Haitian migrants sailing across to Mexico and joining the caravans. They hadn't done that yet. They waited till Biden was president. Why? Because Biden seemed to be soft on the border. And he is. He has repeatedly attempted to undermine border security, only to later have to go back on it, pissing off the handful of people that supported his moves in the first place because of the fact that he ends up violating the Constitution, violating some international agreement. It, it's, it always seems to be legal in nature, too. It's not even so much he, I think he cares about the polling. Anyone who would, who would disapprove of Biden because of bad border policies is already part of the disapproval group, so I don't think he even cares at this point. By the way, he seems to have found a soft floor with a gap of around 10 points plus of disapproval. That's not a great place to be because there's only one other president who's ever finished their first year of office with lower approval. And the other guy, while he was reigning over ec actual economic recovery and generally trying, was being pounded 24-7 by an unrelenting swarm of propaganda. Joe Biden has wagons circled around him in multiple rings and is praised 24-7, and he's a couple of points above that. That's not great, <laughs> especially since inflation now we know is not transitory. That's about all. Peace out.